you ready for the championship game in the Central Christmas Tournament? Well, I'll tell you what, the fans here are ready. This place is absolutely packed for a St. Francis County rivalry game between the Central Rebels and the Farmington Knights. And the Central is getting their starters announced right now to a big cheer over the packed house. And they are starting Will Sheriff as 5'8", junior point guard. Also Hunter Kurtoy, 6'2", forward. He is a junior. Alaric Jones, 5'11", junior. John Comfort, 5'11", shooting guard. He is a senior. And Drew Skaggs, number 32, their leading scorer at 25 points per game, 6'4". He is a senior. For the Farmington Knights, Logan England gets the start at guard, 5'9", junior. Dante Castro at forward, number 21, 6'1", senior. Garrett Callahan, the point guard, number 24, 5'10", junior. Junior. Jordan Ankrum is the power forward slash center. He's the six foot three sophomore, averaging 17 points per game. And DJ Hardy, the sharp shooting guard, he is a six foot junior. Castro, Callahan, Ankrum, Hardy, England for Farmington. Surface, Kurtois, Comfort, Jones, and Skaggs for the Central Rebels. They just honored the uh, Huff family, uh, a couple that attends the Park Hills Central Christmas Tournament each and every year. They had them stand up and give a wave, and the entire crowd applauded them. That was something special as they have come to just about every Central Christmas Tournament over the past years. So that was nice to get things started. And now we're about to get some championship basketball here on Taking Country, J98 The Boot and J98 Web TV. KTJJ FM, Farmington, Festus, Crystal City, Park Hills. The Central Rebels have their navy blue road uniforms on today as they're the lower seed heading into this matchup. They're the seven, Farmington's the five. They've got the red numbers and letters and the red trim down the side. Farmington's got the white home uniforms with the black and gold trim, black letters and the gold trim. Jordan Ankrum versus Drew Skaggs at center straight. Right. Central working left to right as you're looking on from center court. Farmington from right to left. Eight minutes on the clock. Ball's in the air. Central wins the tip. Alaric Jones starts with the basketball. Here we go. Championship action. We've been building all the way throughout this tournament for this specific game. Five versus seven matchup. Will Sherfus has it straight away. Dribbles it to the left wing. Throws it up top for John Comfort. He'll take a straightaway three ball. Left it way short. No good. But there's Skaggs to pick it up and put it back in right underneath the bucket. He averages 25 and he's got two right now. Drew Skaggs makes it two to nothing. Park Hills Central. Here comes Farmington. Logan England, top of the key. Drives, spins, swings it back out. Here's a straightaway three ball for the Farmington Knights. Jordan Anchor not going to go. Rebound. Central had it, but Drew Skaggs is going to pick up the foul. His first team foul, number one. 7.23 to play first quarter. Farmington possession. It'll be DJ Hardy to throw it in for Farmington. Central leading two to nothing. And they get it underneath to Jordan Ankrum. One pump fake and a lay-in right underneath the bucket. And Jordan Ankrum's on the board for the Farmington Knights. Two to two. Pressure put on by Farmington. Alaric Jones will get through it into the front court. Hands it off to Will Sherpas. Two two. We're tied up. Central's the visiting team on the scoreboard on their home floor at the TJ Fulon Fieldhouse. Left wing pass. It's Alaric Jones. Jones will back it up. Going to work on England. He'll swing it to the corner for Drew Skaggs. Skaggs with Ankrum on him. That's a good matchup we'll watch tonight. And they'll lob it down low for Hunter Kurtois. Kurtois between two defenders can't lay it in. Farmington's Dante Castro with the rebound. Into the front court, it's Logan England. He's got it left wing. Pulls up his dribble. Hands it off to Justin Callahan. Or Garrett Callahan, excuse me. Underneath the bucket, they get it to Jordan Ankrum. And a jumper from the second block. He puts it up and in. And Ankrum has four. Knights lead it 4-2 to on a 4-0 run. Central quickly into the front court through the pressure they get it underneath baseline lay in it's John Comfort and Comfort ties it up four to four back and forth we go in the first quarter <laughs> Mike Carlos said not to blink in this one Farmington into the front court it's Logan England and throwing it right wing here's Ankrum Ankrum back over to the left wing it's Logan England again fakes right dribbles left throws up a runner in traffic it's not going to go it's Hunter Kurtois boarding it he gives it out for Sheriffus Sheriffus into the front court John Comfort lobs it inside and the behind the back pass to Hunter Kurtois from Skaggs and Kurtois finishes laying it in 6-4 central now on a 4-0 run Rebels by two 550 to play first quarter now Farmington into the front court, left wing pass from England to Garrett Callahan. He's guarded by Comfort, takes it inside the arc, throws it to the key. This is 
Castro driving, laying in, but getting it blocked. And I think it was Skaggs who came up with that one. Into the front court surface. Surface up top, Kurtois, left wing Jones. Jones will drive it baseline, and he draws some contact, tries the reverse lay-in, doesn't go. Foul called on the Farmington Knights with 5.26 to play in the first quarter. There was a blocking foul on the floor. Central Rebels to keep possession. Foul called on Castro, his first. Each team has committed one. Central to inbound baseline, John Comfort. Comfort swings it into Skaggs. Skaggs back around the perimeter. Up top it comes to Scherfus. Scherfus back over to Comfort. Here's a baseline three ball for John Comfort. Yes, John Comfort makes it 9-4. to four. Park Hill Central on top. Five points for John. Farmington now down by five. In the front court, it's Logan England. England going to work on Will Scherfus. Some action away from the basketball, and it's going to go on Farmington. That gives Central the basketball back. That's on Castro, already two for him, and he's the guy in charge, according to Coach Callahan, at least at the time being. They're picking up Drew Skaggs. Yeah. Into the front court, Drew Skaggs loses the handle of it, and coming up with a steal is Callahan. Nicely done for Farmington. They're back the other way. Right wing pass. Hardy loads up the three ball. In and out, then right back in. DJ Hardy, he's pretty good at those. He makes it 9-7. to seven. Farmington within two. Here comes Central, Will Scherfus. Scherfus tries a cross-court pass to Jones. Jones has it go out of his hands, and Central turns it over. Farmington takes it, and then we've got a foul on the floor with 444 left to play. Each team is now committed to. Jones picks up his first. we got some gunners in this one. Hardy, Glenn hit five the other night, but to me, the, the two biggest threes that I've seen in this tournament have come from comfort. So I, we're going to have some nice gunners in this one, I think. Hardy is the second-leading scorer on the team, averaging 12.6. He and Anchor are their double-figure scores. Right wing, Hardy has it as his team trails it by two, 9-7. to seven. Central has committed two more turnovers than has Farmington. Knights haven't given it away yet. Here's Ankerma straightaway three ball. That one's going to go, and Farmington leads it by a point, 10-9, 422 in the first quarter. How about Jordan Ingram so far? Seven of the team's ten points. Now Central breaks through the pressure. They're down by one. John Comfort gets it baseline, takes one dribble. Tries the fadeaway jumper high off glass. It's not going to go. And here's a foul as the ball comes in. Blake Nephew, fresh in the ball game, is going to pick up his first with a push in the back. You know, Ankrum just a sophomore, Glenn, but to me, he, he's already reminding me a little of Doug Warren's game. You know, he, he can bang, he can run, he can take you outside, too. He might end up being a little bit better than Doug Warren because he's doing it so early in his high school career. Here's Logan England, hands it out right wing, Callahan. Callahan drives, jump stop in the lane, traveled it. Farmington commits their first turnover. Central takes the ball back down by a point, 10 to 9 in this opening quarter. Blake Nephew inbounds. Farmington throws the pressure on. It's full court press. Will Scherfus straighten passes with Skaggs in the backcourt. Now Nephew across the timeline. Left wing, it's Lark Jones. Steps inside the arc, pulls up, shoots, leaves it short, no good. Skaggs, a nice board, put back, tried to dunk it home. It was in and out, no good. So now it's Farmington on the other end. It's Logan England. Logan England throws it up top for Garrett Callahan. Callahan working on comfort. Pivoting on that left foot, he'll dribble to his left. Swings it left wing for Logan England. Logan England into the free throw line. Jordan Ankerm, he'll pull up and shoot. Leaves that one well short, no good. Out of bounds it goes. Central takes possession there. I'd wondered if that one had gotten partially blocked. Apparently not. Skaggs went up for that dunk right down underneath. I think he kind of lost it. I don't think he palmed it as well as he would have. And you know, Some coaches might be critical, but I think this place would have gone bananas if he if they, if they flushed that. Farmington steals it away. Hopkins ends up with a steal. Gives to Hardy. Hardy tries the three from the left wing. No good. Central survives the third turnover there. Now Skaggs driving for the left wing, laying it in and drawing the foul. And Drew Skaggs for the Central Rebels now has four. He'll try to make it five as he goes to the free throw line. They'll call that one on Hopkins for Farmington. Grant Hopkins, his first team foul number three. So Drew Skaggs at the free throw line. 26 points per game for Drew. And he's got five hitting the free throw. Central now leads it by two, 12 to 10. Running the point for the Farmington Knights, Logan England. He goes to work on Will Serifus crossing into the front court. Farmington working right to left. Bounce pass at the elbow. Near side, it comes to Hopkins. Hopkins has nothing. Backs it back out. Right wing pass comes to England. 12 to 10, Park Hill Central. Two minutes, 50 seconds left to play first quarter. Logan England, another bounce to the elbow. Hopkins fakes right, passes left. Three ball, Logan England. Farmington grabs the lead. One point game as Logan England lights up the scoreboard for the first time. 13 12 
12. Knights by a point. Alaric Jones throws it up top for Skaggs. Skaggs has it poked away. There's Garrett Callahan. Central's fourth turnover. Now Skaggs returns the favor, stealing it away. He's up court, spins. He's got a one-on-one, -on -one, but he lost the handle of the basketball. Swings it back out for Braden Mannion. Mannion, the sheriff's right wing. Kicks it baseline for Alaric Jones. One pump fake and then overshoots the rim. No good. Rebound knocked out of bounds. It touched Blake Nephew. And Farmington, with their big contingency of fans, gets a big cheer out of that one. The Knights take the basketball. That one went off of Blake Nephew's shoulder right there. Looks like DJ Buchanan has checked into the ball game for Central. Farmington brings in the bomber. AJ Bomber, and he'll run the point. Garrett Callahan and Logan England come off. There's also Jonah Barnes is in there for Farmington. A bounce pass up for Jonah Barnes up the sideline. Was knocked out of bounds off one of the Central Rebel defenders. Stays a one-point game. Farmington Knights on top, and they've got the basketball. A.J. Bomber takes the inbound. He's got it off the right wing, guarded by D.J. Buchanan. Back to the bucket, spins, throws it up top for Jonah Barnes. Barnes shoots and misses, but fouled, and Jonah Barnes will take a trip to the free throw line. Got to admit, though, that was a pretty good drive block by Blake Nephew there. So Jonah Barnes, one for five on the year for the free throw line. That's good for 20%. Not a whole lot of opportunities. But he'll get a trip here trying to add to a one-point lead. His first one is good. He gets his first point of the ball game. We're in the first quarter still. Farmington and Central have been going back and forth so far. It's been a fun one to watch. Blake Nephew had picked up his second foul on that one. Barnes hits both free throws. And that stretches the lead out to three points for the Knights. 15-12, Farmington, 156 and left to go first quarter. Austin Caldwell's in the game for Central. Farmington applies the pressure. Inbound comes up the far sideline to Alaric Jones. He's quickly into the front court. Now tries to drive baseline. Couldn't go all the way in. Got his lay-in blocked. Rebound, Farmington, Jonah Barnes. Barnes gives to Bomber, and Bomber walks it across half court. He goes to work on DJ Buchanan. Barks out the signal, setting up the offense. Bounce pass up top to Justin Baim. Baim takes it inside the arc, swings it back out to Hopkins. Hopkins steps to the elbow, feeds the pass down low to Jordan Ankrum, who got wide open with the lay-in as the defense over-pursues. Then a throwaway on the inbound. Ball ends up out of bounds. Beautiful pass by Hopkins right there down the right side of the lane. And Great bounce pass that time to create that angle. Nine points for Jordan Ankrum in this first quarter. 125 left to play, so Central turns it over again. Farmington has the basketball inbound to Bomber in the corner. He's got a hand in his face of D.J. Buchanan. They get it down low for Hopkins. Hopkins walks with it as he tries to go up. Farmington's third turnover right there. It's a five-point night lead, 121 to play first. Central Rebels with Caldwell to throw it in. They've also got Scherfus, Buchanan, Skaggs, and Braden Mannion on the floor. Mannion always subs in for John Comfort. They're basically the same guy, three-point specialist. Right wing, it's Will Scherfus. Scherfus brings it back near the timeline. 108 left to go first quarter. Watch Scherfus go to work. Brings it to the right wing. Swings it up top, Mannion. Mannion fakes left, then swings it back to the right. That comes to Scherfus. Up top, it's Buchanan. Buchanan with a head fake. Swings it back to the right wing. There's Scherfus again. Over to the left wing, Mannion. Mannion inside the arc, then swings it to Buchanan right wing. Buchanan with Barnes on him. Swings it to the inside, then right back out it comes. It's Drew Skaggs. Steps inside the arc. Pulls up, shoots, and absolutely nails it. Drew Skaggs, I think he's going to have a good game. He's already got seven points. 17-14. Three points the difference. Here's Farmington. Into the front court, it's A.J. Bomber. Bomber working on Buchanan. Throws it up top. Devin Nagel. Nagel tries to cut it on the give and go. Pass it to the cutter. It's Bomber, but Bomber had the pass knocked away and stolen away. Then Central walks on the other end, so each team turns it over right there. Farmington's fourth, Central's sixth. Knights take the basketball. 26 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Inbound comes in from Hopkins to Bomber. Bomber will take his time as Farmington will hold for the final shot in the first, so they'll try to. D.J. Buchanan will come to guard Bomber as he breaks through into the front court. Right wing pass, Hopkins. 14 seconds left to play first quarter. Down to 12, down to 10. Up top, it's Bame. Eight seconds left to play first. Down to six. Bame starts to go to work with a crossover move. Drives to the elbow, turns around. Down to three seconds, needs to kick it out. He walked with it with 1.7 on the clock. So Central will inbound, presumably to about half court and throw up a half court shot. 
We'll see if the Rebels can get one to fall and possibly tie the ball game. It'll be a three-quarter court shot from Skaggs, but high off the window. It misses no good. 17-14 is the score. Farmington leads it, but a competitive one through one quarter of play. The Central Christmas Tournament Championship game will return with the second quarter in one minute on J98. It's Ford's year-end celebration at Ruther Ford. Where you always get a sweet deal. Hi, this is Doug Jr. First, we want to thank you for our great year. And as we wrap up our 20th anniversary celebration, we still have just a few remaining 2012 models at year-end celebration savings here at Ruther's. And as far as 2013s go, our selection is terrific, and so are the deals. We have 0% APR for 60 months on select models including F-150s and Fusions. Here's our Ruther's Sweet Deals of the Month. 2013 F-150 Super Cabs from $27,998 after rebates. 2013 Escapes with Sync from $25,998 after rebates. Or 2013 Edge with Sync from $24,998 after rebate. Don't miss our Ford year-end celebration and your Ruther Ford Sweet Deal here at Ruther Ford, I-55 at the Herculaneum Auto Mall exit. Hey, where you are? Justin Callahan's Knights lead. Mike Carlos Rebels 17-14 as we move to the second quarter in the Central Christmas Tournament Championship game. Farmington has the basketball, working right to left. Bomber dribbles into the front court, throws it left wing for Barnes. Right back up top, Bomber. Right wing, it goes to Bame. Up top, it's Bomber again. Knights working on a three-point lead. Right wing, back to Bame. Cross court pass, intercepted. There's Braden Mannion. Knight six turnover. Mannion walks the ball up the floor. Central a chance to tie or get within one on this trip down. Up top, it's Alaric Jones. Jones Barks out the signals, brings it to the top of the key, swings it right wing back to Surface. Inside they go to Skaggs, who had seven first quarter points. Skaggs going to work on Nagel's spin move, and we get a foul with a push in the back. They'll get David Nagel on this one. He says, who, me? And the official says, yes, you. That's his job. He's a banger. Get in there and create some chaos. That's number four on Farmington, number one on Devin Nagel. Central to inbound, Drew Skaggs. Skaggs throws it right wing. This comes to Braden Mannion. Mannion working on that pivot foot, swings it inside to Skaggs. Skaggs now steps inside, power move, and takes it to the rack. He's got nine. 17-16, it's a one-point game. Now, here come the Farmington Knights. A.J. Bomber in the front court, fires a pass, left wing, comes to Jonah Barnes, back up top to Bomber. Bomber lobs it back to Barnes. Barnes now has the ball on his hip, swings it back out, right wing. Bomber loads up and bombs one in, 20-16. to 16. It's A.J. Bomber's first points of the ball game. Four-point advantage for the Knights. Central in the front court. Drew Skaggs had a one-on-one -on -one with Nagel, but he waited for the rest of the Rebels to get down the floor. Swings it back out to Jones. Jones kicks it near side to Scherfus, and Scherfus backs it up and spreads the floor for the Central Rebels. Four-point game. Farmington on top. Scherfus dribbles it to the left wing. Throws it up top for Jones. Jones back out to Scherfus, left wing. Fakes left, dribbles right, steps inside the arc, pulls up, shoots, and nails it. Will Scherfus is on the board. Two points for him, 20 to 18, cuts the deficit in half. Here comes Farmington, looking for the answer on the other end. It's Bame, swings it out up top for Bomber. A.J. Bomber, bounce pass, left wing, Jonah Barnes. Jonah Barnes working on Will Scherfus, picks up his dribble, gets it in the paint. Hopkins, Hopkins kicks baseline, and Justin Bame tickles the ceiling on that jump shot, but he knocks the bottom out of it. It's a two-pointer, 22-18. Four-point lead again for Farmington. Alaric Jones trying the answer on the other end. Doesn't go. Too strong on the jump shot. Rebound, though, comes to Braden Mannion. Crossover move at the right wing. Swings it back out near the timeline. At the circle, Will Scherfus. Scherfus scans the defense and swings it over to the corner. Here's Braden Mannion again. Mannion going to work on Justin Bain. Back up top, it goes to Alaric Jones. Drew Skaggs being covered up nicely by Nagel. They swing it back out up top to Will Scherfus. Central Rebels trail by four. Braden Manning has it in the far side corner. Puts the ball on the floor. Starts his drive. Swings it back out. Skaggs. Skaggs now. He'll try a deep two. And for Drew Skaggs, he's just not missing tonight. He gets another one. 11 points. He's showing it all. They need the step back, the drive, the muscle at the hoop. He's what? a special player. 22 to 20. Two-point game. Up top, it's A.J. Bomber for Farmington. Left wing pass comes to Jonah Hill. Farmington playing without Jordan Ankrum right now. Devin Nagel in in the low post, and the ball stolen away by Central. Then Nagel commits the foul, trying to get the ball back. Farmington commits their seventh turnover. Nagel's second foul, and with that, here comes Jordan Ankrum. Coach Callahan puts his big gun back in it. Blake Nephew checks in for the Central Rebels, and looks like 
John Cuffert is back in as well as Braden Mannion comes off. Inbound to Will Scherfus. Scherfus working on Logan England bringing the ball up the floor. Two-point game at 22-20. to 20. Central trails it. Right wing at Scherfus. Gets it inside for Skaggs. One power dribble. Fade away jumper. Baseline. He does it again. Drew Skaggs is having one of his better first halves in a while. 22-22, and that's saying something because the kid usually puts it together pretty quick. Right wing Callahan up top, England. Inside Ingram. Ingram, fadeaway jumper for the answer on the other side. A little bit too strong, but it's tipped right back to him. He will take it to the rack, but commit the offensive foul. Central fans love that, and the Rebels take the ball back in a tie game, 22-22. Ingram picks up just his first foul. Team foul number six on Farmington. Central, if you're wondering, has committed four team fouls. Blake Nephew will inbound for the Central Rebels. Full court pressure applied by Farmington. Alaric Jones brings it into the front court across the far sideline. Double team on him. He'll swing it to Skaggs. Skaggs now attacks baseline. Pulls up and shoots over Ingram and Drew Skaggs. He can do it all tonight. 24-22 Central on top. Now it's Farmington. And it's Logan England. Knights now it's trailing again. Since first time they trailed since midway through the first quarter. They get it underneath the anchor who missed the turnaround lay-in underneath, but got his own board, kept working, and draws the foul. He'll go to the free throw line. But man, for Drew Skaggs, eight second quarter points. He's now already got 15 in the ball game, and we're just getting started. He's just scratching the surface of what he can do. He's incredible. I mean, the way he's playing right now, he's 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 making stuff with people in his face. He's getting stuff off of transition stops. He's muscling through double teams, doing it all. Ankrum had a big first quarter. He's been quiet in the second, but he does hit his uh, first free throw to give him 10, so he's already in double figures. 24-23. Next free throw is going to miss. No good. He's a 70% free throw shooter on the year. Four minutes remaining in the first half. Central by a point. 24-23. Will Scherfus takes it inside. Swings it back out. Right wing Comfort. Back to the corner for Scherfus. Scherfus thought about that three, but swings it back out up top for John Comfort. Fakes left. Dribbles right. Hands it off. Back to Will Scherfus. One point advantage for the Rebels. Three minutes. 47 seconds left to go. Second quarter. A pass left wing of Larrick Jones. He goes to work on Callahan. Takes it inside the arc. He'll pull up and shoot the deep two. Off back rim. It's no good. Rebound. It's still being fought for. Who's going to come up with it? It's still up for grabs. In the corner ends up being out of bounds. And it's going to go back to Farmington Knights way off of Central. That ball was up for grabs for a good 20 seconds, it seemed like. Probably five or six. But We should have had some mats down on the court. They were wrestling for let, that thing. Just let them wrestle it out. Both teams, both, both schools have wrestling programs. We've got a timeout on the floor. It's a full 60-second timeout. 24-23 is the score. Central on top of Farmington. It's the championship game in the Christmas tournament from Park Hill Central. We're back in 30 seconds on J98. Midwest Orthopedics Group with Dr. Scott Van Ness and Dr. Christopher Sloan are orthopedic surgeons and podiatrists who offer total joint replacements. Arthroscopic surgery, carpal tunnel, fracture care, workman's compensation cases, foot care, and surgery. And new patients are welcome. All surgery and care done locally in Farmington. That's Midwest Orthopedics Group, just down from Buffalo Wild Wings in the Midwest Professional Building in Farmington. Midwest Orthopedics Group. One point game, 24-23. Championship game of the Central Christmas Tournament. Central Rebels on top on their home floor, although they're the visitors on the scoreboard. Central, 15 points from Drew Skaggs so far. And Farmington, they've got a guy in double figures as well. His name is Jordan Enkrum. He put up nine in the first quarter to lead all scorers at that point. But in the second quarter, Drew Skaggs has been the man. Inbounder is going to be Dante Castro for Farmington. He picked up two fouls early. We'll keep a watch on him as this game goes along. Inbound comes into Logan England. He crosses over the timeline into the front court. He's got it right wing, far side of the floor. Picks up his dribble, throws it inside, and it's Ingram going to work on Blake Nephew. Fadeaway jumper, not going to go. Castro, nice offensive rebound in the putback, and the Knights have the lead right back. Castro's first points. Here's a whistle as Central brings the ball up the near sideline. A foul on Farmington. They'll call that one on DJ Hardy. He picks up his first. Team foul, number seven. Central goes to the line. It'll be Will Scherfus shooting the front end of a one-and-one one here. Will Scherfus had a two-point field goal earlier in this second quarter. This is his first trip to the line. The first one to tie it up. If he makes it, he earns himself another one. He got it. He's got three, 25-25, 3-13 left to play in the first half. And this game, really, I don't think anybody's led by more than four, if I'm not mistaken. Will Scherfus, the next one for the lead. Off back rim, it's not going to go. 
Rebound Jordan Ankrum for the Farmington Knights. So here comes Farmington looking for the lead back. Ankrum gave it off to England. England's into the front court. Going on surface. Swings it to the elbow. Left elbow. It goes to Ankrum. Back to the right wing. England. Here's a whistle away from the action. Looks like the official baseline stepped maybe on a fan and rolled his ankle. And now there's a timeout on the floor. Central, I believe, called the timeout here. What did you see? Yeah, he's limping back there. He's gonna. In fact, he just talked to the central trainer, and he's massaging it like he maybe is cramped up or something. I think. I think he he might have stepped on one of those fans in the front row who were out there pretty far. And if he did, standing. it was a little girl because they're all little girls yeah. over there. Well, sometimes those little girls can hurt you. You know, <laughs> 25, 25. We're tied. We have an official's timeout right now as they attend to the official and here comes Paul Fitzwater to the rescue. He's got his equipment with him and he's going to go change right now. We might see Paul Fitzwater come into this ball game as a replacement official. And what better replacement official to have than representative Paul Fitzwater? <laughs> We'll see if he does indeed come in. 25-25 tie ball game. Central and Farmington three minutes and one second left to go in the first half. And we have seen a, just a back and forth ball game so far, Chad. Yeah, it's been terrific. And for Farmington, they, they're they shooting the ball so well from outside. They're four for six outside of the arc. So really shooting the ball well out there. And for Central, I mean, obviously their team is playing well. But it, it has simply been the Drew Skaggs show. This guy has been incredible so far. He... He, he's gone up and, and scored just about every way. And I, I'm thinking back now, I, I can't hardly believe he missed the dunk. Because that's <laughs> like the only thing he's missed all night. Yep, he's uh, 15 points. Also one of one from the free throw line. As Central's trying to win this championship for the first time since 2001 on their home floor. And this place would absolutely erupt if that happens. And then plus on Wednesday, the girls, the Lady Rebels, are going to try for back-to-back -back championships in their own tournament. So good stuff for Central Rebels. Here comes Farmington right wing. It's Logan England. And he'll bounce pass over to the corner for Garrett Callahan. Callahan working on comfort. Fakes right, dribbles left into the key. Swings it back out left wing. It's Logan England. Logan England down low. It goes to Ankrum. Ankrum with a pump fake. Working in the low post. Fade away. Jumper. Yes. He puts it through. He's got 12 points. And Ankrum with three in the second quarter. 27-25. Farmington by a pair. Here. There's Drew Skaggs at the elbow. Swings it out, Jones. Jones is going to try the three ball. They left him open for it, and he says, take that. He knocks it down. Alaric Jones has his first points of the ball game. 28-27. It's Park Hill Central back up by a point. The Farmington Knights back on the attack. Logan England. He'll drive, stop at the block, swing it to the other side of the floor where Ankrum is waiting for it. He attacks Blake Nephew, and Nephew hits the deck and picks up the foul. Ankrum will take his 70% free throw shooting to the free throw line. Really nice pass by Logan England that time. The penetration then stopped at the left low block. Little backhand, a bouncer, block to block passing. And, and the Hank Ankrum, the guy that you want to hit down there. And you know, we've talked so much about Skaggs and Ankrum is almost right there with him now. Ankrum hits the free throw. And 13 points for him, 15 for Skaggs. And if he hits this free throw, he'll be 3 for 4, and it'll give him 14 points. And that is the case. 29-28, Farmington right back up by a point. Here comes Paul Fitzwater. He'll be the uh, new official checking in. Up top, John Comfort swings it left wing. Alaric Jones. Alaric Jones puts the ball on the floor, swings it right back up top, and that'll go to Will Scherfus. Lob pass down low. Comes to Skaggs. Skaggs finds the cutting. Alaric Jones, who misses the lay-in too strong, and Farmington boards it. Trying to add to a one-point lead. Here come the Farmington Knights, home team on the scoreboard. Logan England. Up top, drives in, spins at the elbow. He's going to stop his dribble, look to swing it back out, and does. Gets it to DJ Hardy. Hardy going to work on Jones. Puts the ball on the floor and starts his drive from the left side. Throws up the runner off the window. That was pretty from DJ Hardy. DJ Hardy with five points in the ball game. His first two-point field goal right there. It's a three-point game, 31-28. Now here comes Alaric Jones, blocking foul, and the lay-in, driving from the left wing. Alaric Jones just made it a one-point game, and he'll try to tie it as he steps to the free-throw line. I hope the second half can match this first half because this has been tremendous championship action here. Just back and forth, and like you said, tiny little leads, lead changes, and just shot makers all over the floor. Between yesterday's action, today's action, and last night yelling at my Dallas Cowboys on the TV screen, I'm losing a voice. Free throw is good from Alaric Jones. It's 31-31. We're knotted up again, and it's Farmington back on the attack. 
One minute, 14 seconds remains in the first half. Logan England has it left wing. Here's a foul away from the basketball. Probably the most vocal damage occurred last night. It really did. <laughs> that was upsetting. One minute and 12 seconds left to go in the second quarter. The foul goes on Central's Hunter Kurtois, his first. Team foul, number seven. So it'll be a one and one here for Jordan Ankrum. The front end is up and good. Ankrum's look good from the free throw line today. Just the one miss for him. He's now four of five, 70% on the year. And Farmington has the lead at 32-31. The next one for Jordan Ankrum for a two-point lead on its way off the front of the rim. No good. And now there's a fight for the rebound. Braden Mannion ends up with it. He got the lowest on that one as it went down to the floor. DJ Buchanan in the front court for the Park Hill Central Rebels. Crossover move, drives in, stops, has to swing it back out, lobs it over to Braden Mannion. Under one minute to play in the half. Left wing, Alaric Jones. Jones lobs a pass over to the right wing. Buchanan, they get it down low to Kurtois. Kurtois one-on-one on Ankrum and gets the friendly roll on the jump shot with the one hand. And Hunter Kurtois has four. 33-32 Central by a point. Farmington Knights. Back the other side. Here's Logan England. Crossover move. Drives. Looks to kick it underneath for Ankrum. Cutter Toys pops it away and swings it back out to Braden Mannion. Farmington commits the right turnover. Central looking to add to a one-point lead as they bring the ball up the floor. Will this be the final possession of the first half? DJ Buchanan back to the basket. Working on England. Swings it over to Mannion near side. Right back over to DJ Buchanan. 16 seconds and counting remaining in this first half. Central 33. Farmington 32. Rebels with the basketball. 10 seconds. Seconds. Down to nine, down to eight. Buchanan goes to work, pulls up from the elbow, shoots, too strong. Rebound comes right back to him, put back his block. Farmington has two seconds. Here comes a pass at half court. Here's the shot at the buzzer off to the right from Jonah Barnes. And the Rebels hold a one-point lead at the break, 33-32. Ready to go on Kicking Country, J98, the boot, KTJJ FM, Farmington Festus, Crystal City, Park Hills, and the Central Rebels by a point, and they start with the basketball working right to left as you look on from center court at Media Row or on J98 Web TV at MimoInfo.com. Rebels with the basketball, it's Alaric Jones, and we've got a second violation on the Central. They're going to turn it over. Farmington takes it away. Chad Bradley stopping by here at the half, Glenn, and uh, Wednesday's championship game going to probably be about a 17 tap time. Uh, St. James is going to go ahead and bring over their JV, and they said, what the heck, we'll just play a gate JV game two, six o'clock start there, and so we'll have the championship right after that. And that'll be on J98, the boot, right back here on Wednesday. Right wing, it's Jordan Ankrum in the front court for Farmington. He'll take it in baseline, tries a uh, fadeaway runner there, doesn't get it to go central with the rebound, and a wild pass from Will Scherfes from the right wing to the near side corner over through John Comfort out of bounds. Central now two quick turnovers to start the half 28 seconds into it. They now have eight total. So here comes Farmington. It's Garrett Callahan, rather Logan England running the ball up the floor. England dribbles it to the right wing working on Scherfes. Picks up his dribble. Fires it over to the top of the key. This is Castro. Castro puts the ball on the floor working on Skaggs. Swings it up top. This is England. England now with Scherfes all over him. Dribbles it back to the left wing. Seven minutes, ten seconds left to go third quarter. Farmington down by a point. England with a between the legs dribble. Throws it up top for Callahan. Callahan tries the three. Can't get the friendly roll. Rebound though. Offensively goes to Dante Castro who swings it back out. Farmington reset. It's up top to Logan England again. England with good court vision. Brings it around the perimeter. Bounce path to the left wing. Comes to Callahan up top. It's Ankrum wants another three attempt and he's got it straight away. And Ankrum has 18 points in the ball game. We've just started the third quarter. Inbound nearly stolen away. Knocked out of there by DJ Hardy. Out of bounds. Central will inbound. So there for a long run into the first beginning of the second. It was all Drew Skaggs. Now Jordan Ankrum has really come alive. Yeah, he's taking over uh, the scoring lead in this game. And you wonder if Farmington's shooting can keep up. Five for eight outside of the arc. 35-33 the score. Now the Knights back on top. Right wing it's John Comfort in the front court. Drives in then dishes off to Skaggs. Skaggs going block to block trying to find Kurtois on the near side. Kurtois lost it. Out of bounds and out of the break. Central's turned it over three times. A little bit sloppy to start the third quarter. I think maybe a little too unselfish by Skaggs that time. I think so. And it was a good pass by Comfort to get it to Skaggs right there. He had a one-on-one, -on -one, but he passed off. England up top. What a dish to the baseline cutter Callahan, but Callahan had nowhere to go. Swings it back out, and there's Skaggs to steal it away. Now it's Central in the front court. Left wing. He looks to pass it out, does to Jones. Jones with a pump fake and draws the foul. Callahan 
thought, man, I better get a hand in his face because he was left wide open. The pump fake drew the foul. That's the first on Callahan and the first on Farmington in the second half. And it'll be Alari Jones to inbound for the Central Rebels. Lobs it inside to Skaggs. Skaggs now working on Castro up and under and around Dante Castro like he wasn't even there. Puts it off the glass and in. Drew Skaggs with 17. Now it's Farmington back the other way. 35-35. We're tied up again. And they're running it in from the left wing, England. Swings it back out in the corner. Hardy. Here's a baseline drive. Hardy tries a bounce pass near side to nobody in particular. Plus Drew Skaggs sets the feet for the charge. Offensive foul on Hardy. That's his second. Hunter Kurtois to inbound for Central. Meanwhile, DJ Hardy comes off. Jonah Barnes comes in for him. Barnes has been playing quite a bit for DJ Hardy throughout this one so far. Lark Jones dribbles it into the front court and double dribbled it. Central's 10th turnover of the ball game, fourth here in the third quarter. And a 35-35 tie. Jonah Barnes to inbound into the backcourt for Farmington. Knights working left to right. Logan England dribbles across the timeline. They're standing right on the rebel at center court. Dribbles it to the right wing. Now taking it in baseline. Stops his dribble. Kicks it back out Callahan. Now Callahan fakes going outside, then takes it back inside right to the rack and lays it in. Garrett Callahan's first points of the game. Farmington by 2, 37-35. Central breaks through the pressure. Into the front court. Far side corner. Comfort gets it inside for Skaggs. Skaggs swings it back out. Comfort. Comfort wants the three ball. Oh, he airmailed it no good. Maybe it was a pass because it goes right to Alaric Jones who puts it up and in. He'll tell you it was a pass. The assist to John at Comfort, 37-37. Alaric Jones finished on that one. He's got eight points in the ball game. Here comes Farmington in a tie game. Logan England has it left wing. He'll throw it into the corner. And Jonah Barnes from the left wing fires it up top for Ankrum. Here's a right wing pass, Callahan. Now Callahan starts his drive, stops in the paint, working on his pivot foot, tries to throw up one off balance, can't get it to go. Central rebounds it. Into the front court. Central. Will surface, right wing, dribbles it back near the timeline, swings to the corner for John Comfort, lobs it down low. It is Drew Skak. Spin move, fadeaway jumper. Oh, this one coughed up by the rim, no good. We stay tied at 37 as Farmington brings it up the floor. At the left wing, it's Logan England. He stops his dribble, throws it back up top for Barnes. Now back to the right wing, it's Castro. Castro at the elbow, swings to the near side corner. It is Callahan. Callahan fakes right, dribbles left. Now into the paint, he goes, steps back, kicks it back out to Castro. Now right wing, it's an open three for Garrett Callahan. No go on that one. And Central's Hunter Kurtois with a nice board. Here come the Rebels looking to break the 37-37 tie. Jones coast to coast from the right wing, lays it in with a defender all over him. Alaric Jones now has 10 points to give him double figures on the ball game. Central by 2, 39-37. There's a highlight for you. Farmington now at the left wing. It's Logan England. Throws it up top for Jordan Ankrum. Ankrum takes it inside, blocked but fouled by Hunter Kurtois. Right inside the free throw line, tried to throw up that runner off balance and got a gift foul there from Hunter Kurtois, his second and team foul number one against the Rebels. Jordan Ankrum, 4 of 6 from the free throw line today, against 70% on the year coming in. Leads the team in scoring with 18 points, make it 19 points. He's two above his average already. We're only five minutes into the third quarter. Not even five minutes into the third quarter. So Jordan Ankrum hits his first. That makes it a one-point game. Farmington trailing, 39-38. The next one to tie, got it. We're tied again, 39-39. I've lost track of how many times this game has been tied up, but quite a bit, I, I tell you. Here's Surface at the right wing. Picks up his dribble. Throws it up top for Braden Mannion. Swings it left wing. Jones. Jones was open for three. Passed it up. Gets it to the elbow for Skaggs. Skaggs dribbles between his legs. Lost the handle. Needs to swing it back out. Does to Surface. Surface has it right wing. 39-39. Farmington and Central doing battle for the tournament championship. Jones pulls up for three and shoots the brick. No good. Off the back rim. Rebound Farmington. And the Knights up the floor with 3.06 to play. Third quarter. Logan England at the left wing. He'll go to work on service. Throws it up top for Garrett Callahan. Callahan to the right wing. This is Ankrum. Fakes right, dribbles left. Inside he goes. Throws up the runner. Offensive foul on Jordan Ankrum. There's Drew Skaggs. I've seen him do that a couple of times today. Gets in position. Nice job defensively and has the feet set. Well, Ankrum really just pointing everything to the goal right now. Calling for the basketball. He's really trying to attack that basket. And I think Skaggs noticed that, saw that coming. Did a nice job setting the feet. You know, Ankrum 
he's, he's come a long way just from his freshman year to his sophomore year. Imagine, though, how good he's going to be come his senior year, kind of like Drew Skaggs, because Skaggs has been good for a long time, too. Up top, Nephew throws it right wing for Buchanan. Into the corner, it's Mannion. Mannion swings it back out just off the right wing. This is Buchanan. He'll back it up near the timeline. We're still knotted up at 39 apiece. 240 remains third quarter. In at the elbow, Skaggs. Skaggs lobs it down low for Nephew. Nephew with a little head fake, then goes up and might have gotten blocked by Ankrum. If not, it was just the bottom of the backboard that rejected him there. Farmington up the floor. We've got some contact and a player down on the floor for Farmington. It's Jordan Ankrum holding his left ankle. Looks like he's okay, though. Just gets up a little bit gimpy on that one. Nice job by Skaggs and Jones over there helping him back up. The foul called on Nephew. He picked up his fourth. Team foul number two on Central. So it is Farmington at basketball. They'll end down at the half court. Into the backcourt, the pass comes in from Barnes to England. England across the timeline working on Buchanan. Hunter Kurtois will check in next chance he gets in, gets for Central. Left wing, Jonah Barnes going to work on Mannion. Throws it up top for Ankrum. Step back jumper at the elbow, Jordan Ankrum. As he falls down to the floor, gives Farmington the lead, 41-39. Jordan Ankrum now with 21 points in the ball game. Two-point lead for Farmington. Into the corner, Mannion. Right wing pass comes to Alaric Jones. Under two minutes to play third quarter. Jones starts to attack, and a runner off glass. Too strong a little bit. Rebound, Jordan Aker. He'll swing it back out to Logan England, who will bring the ball up the floor. Knights by two. Into the front court, Logan England working on DJ Buchanan. What a game. Right wing pass comes to Jonah Barnes. Barnes directing traffic. Swings it up top for Ankrum. Ankrum attacks again. Step back jumper from the other elbow. This one doesn't go. Rebound, fought four, and then pushed out of bounds. Off of Central, they say. And Don Thompson right on top of that call. So it's going to be Farmington basketball with 131 left to go. Inbounder will be Jonah Barnes. Meanwhile, Justin Bame checks back in. A.J. Bomber back in. Grant Hopkins back in for the Farmington Knights. Barnes throws it in near side corner. That's Bomber. Bomber has Buchanan on him. Bounce pass to the inside. Ankrum. Ankrum fights it away from Kurtoitz. Reverse lay in no good, but draws the foul. He's back to the line. That was a good job by Ankrum just to get it away from Kurtoitz there because the way that pass was coming in, I thought Kurtoitz had a good angle for the steal. A couple of things. They're great hands and, and gripping onto that strong hands. And then the athleticism, Glenn, to get to the left side of the rim because there were shot blockers on the right side and a, a strong enough left hand to give him a chance on that reverse. Ankrum's third straight free throw gives him 23 points in the ball game. It's now 42-39 Farmington. The next free throw is off back rim no good. Hopkins had the rebound but lost it. Central takes it away. Three-point game. Here come the Rebels. They'll pass it inside. Skaggs. Now, baseline three ball. Braden Mannion for the tie. Can't get it to go. DJ Buchanan. Nobody boxed him out. And he says, I'll take it. That's an easy two points for DJ. One-point game, 42-41. Knights on top. And now it's the Knights back the other way. A.J. Bomber working on Buchanan. Bounce pass to the right wing. Nearly stolen by Mannion. But Jonah Barnes controls it. Barnes has played well. He's been in there for D.J. Hardy for a long time. Hopkins on the inside, tries an outlet pass to Barnes, or Bomber. Pass knocked away, they say, off of Farmington Central. Takes over possession. 42-41. It's the Knights on top of the Rebels. Devin Nagel's going to come in, and Jordan Ankrum has been working hard out there tonight. He's probably worked up a sweat. Let's give him a rest, Coach Callahan says. Now Central down by one. Inbound comes in at the half court. From baseline, the pass all the way to half court to Mannion, who takes it in the front court, gives it up to Buchanan. Now into the corner, back to Mannion. Buchanan at the right wing. Far side corner again, Mannion near side. It comes to Jones inside. Now back outside. Great ball movement here for the Central Rebels. Jones lobs it to Skaggs. Skaggs another fadeaway jumper. Oh, man. Skaggs has been quiet for a little while. Well, that just reminded us how good he is right there. He knocks the bottom out of that one, 43-42. Here comes Farmington. Will they hold for the final shot in the third quarter? We're down to 17 seconds left to play in the third. Down by one. Farmington Knights. A.J. Bomber dribbling the ball straight away. Throws it up top for Bain. Bain attacks. Swings it back out. Wide open. Three ball. D.J. Hardy. Oh, he missed that one badly. Bain with the rebound. Put back. Not going to go. And then some contact on this rebound. It's going to go on Central for the foul with point four on the clock. So we'll get an inbound. All you can do here is just tip it in. You're going to have to lob it in underneath the bucket and hope for a tip in for Farmington. There's .4 left to go third quarter. And no Jordan Ankrum on the floor. So Hardy looking to throw it in. Lobs it up off the backboard, and it's going to go Central's way with .4 left to go. Not much you can do here for if you're Central, though. 
Looks like the score going into the fourth quarter will be 43-42 Central. Inbound comes in, half-court shot. They're going to wave this one off. It's not going to count as you can't catch and release with point four on the clock. 43-42 is the score moving to the fourth quarter. It's Central on top of Farmington. We're back in a minute on G98. With Dr. Scott Van Ness and Dr. Christopher Sloan, our orthopedic surgeons and podiatrists who offer total joint replacements, arthroscopic surgery, carpal tunnel, fracture care, workman's compensation cases, foot care, and surgery. And new patients are welcome. All surgery and care done locally in Farmington. That's Midwest Orthopedics Group, just down from Buffalo Wild Wings in the Midwest Professional Building in Farmington. Midwest Orthopedics Group. How long should your dreams live? Long enough to pay off the house. Long enough to send the kids to college. Your dreams should live forever. So help protect them with American Families Life Insurance. Use our online life needs calculator at amfam.com and call your local agent to find out how much coverage is right for you and your family. Your dream is out there. Go get it. We'll protect it. Life insurance underwritten by American Family Life Insurance Company, home office, Madison, Wisconsin. For details, contact Mike Dominic at 636-931-3888. Jordan Anchor lead him all scores with 23 points. Drew Skaggs not far behind with 19. That's what uh, both of them had yesterday at the end of the ball game in their respective semifinals. So Farmington nearly going to turn the ball over here. Bomber saves a turnover, throws it back up to Bame. Bame gets it down low for Hopkins. Hopkins draws the foul as he goes up underneath, and Hopkins will step to the free throw line. Grant Hopkins, no points yet today, but he steps to the line where he shoots 33%, 3 of 9, coming into today. Foul called on Alaric Jones, his second team foul number four. At the free throw line, it's Hopkins trying to add to a 33 percentage on the year. That's not going to help, but he misses his first one in and out. Fourth quarter underway, 16 seconds into it, 43-42, Park Hills Central over Farmington. The next one for Grant Hopkins, line drive free throw. That one is good, and it ties the ball game at 43. Now it's the Central Rebels back on the attack. Farmington reapplies the pressure. Into the front court, it's Alaric Jones. He's got it left wing. Dribbles between the legs, kicks to the corner, Skaggs. He's got a double team. Dribbles out of it and draws some contact. That'll be number four on Farmington. Justin Bame is going to pick that one up, his first. Inbounder will be Alaric Jones. Central has Jones, Curtois, Buchanan, Skaggs, and Mannion on the floor right now. Alaric Jones lobs it underneath for Skaggs. Skaggs goes up with one hand. What a dish to Curtois cutting, but Curtois overshoots the lay-in in traffic there, and Devin Nagel gets the rebound. You liked that pass, though, didn't you, from Skaggs? Pretty. A.J. Bomber into the front court. Farmington looking for the lead back. This game has just been ridiculous so far. Bomber takes it inside the arc. Bounce pass back out up top Hardy. Hardy's going to attack. Pull up from the elbow. He's going to leave that one a little bit short. No good. Rebound comes right back to him. He'll try it again. High off the window. In and out. No good again. The rim not friendly to him right there. Rebound Alaric Jones. Jones has Justin Payne all over him. But dribbles around him. Gets it in the front court. Here's a three ball from the corner. Brayden Mannion. Too strong. Rebound Buchanan. He's going to try to put it back. There's a foul on the floor here. Central loving it. That'll be number five on Farmington with 6.54 to play. That was Buchanan getting a strong rebound there and looking to go back up strong with it. And he got contacted by A.J. Bomber, his first. So the inbound coming in baseline. That'll be from Alaric Jones. Jones lobs it to Skaggs. One-handed catch. Now he'll spin, maybe get away with a walk as he swings it back out to the corner. And then uh, the ball ends up knocked away but a foul called on Farmington yeah, three quick fouls on Farmington that time the reach it's the third on Hardy I think Skaggs might have got away with a little bit of a push off there too but he got to let a little bit of that go for Skaggs and it looked like to the Farmington fans anyway that he had shuffled his feet before that pass it was close. Here comes a three ball from the corner off the inbound. Mannion can't get it to go. And Skaggs doing work underneath. Rebounds and puts it back in after a spin move. 21 for Drew Skaggs in this ball game. He averages 26. 45-43. Two-point game. Central back in the lead. Here's Farmington. Here's Bomber. Bomber stops top of the key. Spires one inside for Hopkins. And what a steal by Alaric Jones taking it away from Farmington. 11th turnover for Farmington and Alari Jones is the Rebels' defensive specialist. He knifed right in there for that one. Here's Buchanan, right wing drive, laid it in, count it, and the foul. Buchanan's going to the free throw line. He's got four, and this kid's just a freshman. 
And he plays pretty sparingly coming off the bench for Coach Harlow's team. But when he's in there, he's impressive. And he's a head knocker on the football team, too. I mean, really nice guy on the Greta Iron. Started in the secondary yeah. for Coach Schweiss's team. He has a chance. How weird does this sound? With 6-14 remaining in the fourth and Central leading by four points, Buchanan has a chance to give his team the largest lead of the game by either side. That's how tight it's been. And, and Buchanan, he's got four points today. This will be his first free throw attempt. The freshman steps to the line. The foul called on Bomber. That's the seventh team foul now on Farmington. Central, likewise, has only committed four four of them so far. So on the other side, here's the free throw. No good. Off back rim. Farmington had the rebound but lost it. Blake Nephew puts it back. And that'll work for Central. That's their biggest lead at six points in the ball game as Blake Nephew gets his first points. Here comes Farmington. Some contact called on Buchanan. A little bit too tight on the defense on Logan England. That was a big rebound by Nephew, and Nephew doesn't get a whole lot of scoring, but he takes up some space down there and pulled down a nice rebound and put it back high off the window for Central. Six-point game, Farmington trails. Like Chad said, their largest deficit of the ball game. 6-0-1 left to play in the fourth quarter. Farmington on a four-game winning streak. Central on a six-game winning streak. One of those is going to end. Inbound comes into Hardy. Hardy dribbles it into the front court. Takes it to the left wing, guarded tightly by Alaric Jones, and knocks the ball away to Jones. There's a fight for it in the backcourt. Central comes up with it. Here come the Rebels. Buchanan at the left wing, then he waits for the Cavalry to arrive. Backs it up near the timeline, under six minutes to play. Central by six, 49-43, and another second violation on the Central Rebels. Farmington's going to take the ball away in the Central 11th turnover. Nice job by Farmington just, just in, I know this sounds maybe a little simple, but just continuing to play. You know, no matter what happens, you just continue to play in the five-second violation. It's the Central Christmas Tournament on J98 to boot. KTJJ FM, Farmington Festus, Crystal City, Park Hills. Central leading 49-43 over Farmington. Another takeaway, Alaric Jones jumping in front of a pass. And now Alaric Jones into the front court. Defensively, he has been one of the better players in this tournament. Three up, steals in the last five possessions for him. Up top, it's DJ Buchanan. Now, he has the ball poked away by Logan England, and then... We've got a timeout. Coach Harlow as Central recovers it. And Coach Harlow wants to save a turnover there. 49-43, Farmington trails it. Central actually has the lead. 5.15 to play in the fourth quarter. We're back in 30 seconds on J98. When it comes to building, remodeling, or any job you need to get done, you're sure to find what you need at Potosi Lumber Company. At Potosi Lumber, you'll find a full line of DeWalt power tools, including cordless drills, reciprocating saws, circular saws, and rotary hammers for that big job. Remember that Potosi Lumber also carries Wrangler and John Deere clothing for men, women, and children. And if you're looking for wallpaper and accessories, they stock those items too. Potosi Lumber Company, Highway 21, one mile north of Potosi. It is Central Basketball. They lead it by six. 5-12 left to go in the fourth quarter on J98. The boot and J98 Web TV. Alaric Jones has it straight away. Trying to add to a six-point lead, but he fires it inside where it's intercepted by Castro. Then Castro carries it as he brings it into the front court. Farmington fans arguing that the ball had gotten knocked away from him, but it is a carry by Farmington. Each team turns it over right there. It'll be central to inbound with a six-point lead in the backcourt. Will Sherpas checks in for DJ Buchanan, and Buchanan comes off to a nice bunch of high fives on the sideline as he played well while he was in there. 5.03 left to go. Inbound into the backcourt. Into the front court it goes to Skaggs. Skaggs nearly had the ball ripped away by Callahan. Swings it back out left wing. And they're being rough with Skaggs pushing him to the floor. Central fans want the foul. Nothing called. Letting them go at it down there. Right wing. Sherpas. Sherpas walks with it. Central's 13th turnover. Farmington takes it back. And as this game goes along, you can feel this crowd starting to get more and more into it. The intensity level really rising, not only on the floor, but in the stands. Well, I mean... You know, one possession could be the difference. And so it, as tight as it's been, every, you know, it's how many possessions have resulted in either a lead change or a tie? And so it seems like every time this game uh, it turns on something, there's something to be excited about. And, you know, you get down late, and that's going to be amplified. Score 49-43, four minutes and 50 seconds left to go in the fourth quarter. The officials get together at the scoring table to talk about something. They just put an extra foul up on the board on Farmington's side, which would be their eighth. We'll get an inbound under the baseline. They award Central the basketball there, and it's not a turnover. 
against the Central Rebels. So Central keeps it in the corner. Braden Mannion. Mannion tries to wrap around pass underneath. It's kicked out of bounds. Thing is, though, if they called that a foul, that would have been the eighth on Farmington. So you would have thought Central would have gone to the free throw line there. So whatever reason, they give Central the basketball back. Inbound lobbed in from Alaric Jones to Skaggs. Skaggs couldn't catch it with one hand and put it back in. And then on the rebound, we get a foul on Central. That'll be their seventh, and they'll walk it to the other end and shoot one and one on the right side of the floor. 442 to play. Ankrum steps to the line. Jordan Ankrum. 70.7% on the year from the free throw line. And first. We'll get a timeout. Central, or Farmington, excuse me. 49-43, 442 left to play in this fourth quarter. This one could go either way. We'll break for 30 seconds on J98. White lawyer can be a daunting task. John Williams and Bryce Seacrest and Joseph Murray, attorneys at law, bring over 35 years experience to the table. They offer a wide range of legal services such as general trial, felonies, wills, bankruptcy, divorce, paternity, trust, and probate. Call 573-431-5592 or stop by the law offices of John Williams, Bryce Seacrest, and Joseph Murray, attorneys at law on Science Street next to Central High School. 431-5592. Blake Nephew picks up his fifth foul for the Central Rebels. He is done for the day. Finishes his night with two points. Jordan Akram steps to the free throw line and puts up the front end of the one and one. Gets it to go. Eight of ten from the free throw line is Ankrum. 80% on the night, 70% on the year, and that's going up. Ankrum's next free throw also good. He's hit five of his last six. The score, 49-45, Central now by four points. The Rebels have to play without Blake Nephew, who's fouled down to the ballgame. Will Scherfus into the front court. He's got it straight away, guarded by England. He tries a pass, left wing. Callahan jumps in front of it. Back the other way, he'll get fouled by Will Scherfus. So Callahan doing a good job jumping in front for the steal. Everything's been so close today, including the turnovers, 14 apiece. One and one coming for Farmington. Justin Callahan at the free throw line. Justin Callahan's the coach. Garrett Callahan for the free throw line. 75% on the year for Garrett. His first one good. His first trip, he sinks his first one. He's got three on the day. 49-46. Farmington trying to get it back to within two. Garrett Callahan, right-handed free throw shooter, nails it. Back to a two-point game, 49-47. A 4-0 run here for Farmington. Central breaking through the press. Mannion wide open underneath on the other side. Lays it in, and the foul. The half-court pass to Mannion baseline. He finishes. Now he'll try for the three-point play. Garrett Man Braden Mannion, excuse me, has his first two points of the game right there. Two fouls now against Garrett Callahan. Team foul number nine on Farmington is a four-point game. Can he make it a five-point game? No. Off back rim, Braden Mannion can't find that one. So Farmington down by four. 4.13 left. Into the front court, it's Logan England. He'll go to work on DJ Buchanan. Picked up his dribble. Working on his pivot foot. Bounce pass inside. Ill-advised. There's Skaggs. to jump in front of it for the steal. Now Skaggs gets the ball tapped away, but he recovers it. Throws it up top. Jones. Jones tries to swing to the corner. Mannion was wide open, but Callahan got a fingertip on it and tipped it out of bounds. DJ Hardy checks in for Farmington. Jonah Barnes comes off. Farmington with Callahan, Castro, Hardy, Anchorman, England in the ball game. The five starters. Central to inbound, and the uh, cross-court pass comes into Mannion after being tipped. Mannion controls it, gives it up to Jones. Jones drives left wing, draws the foul after a pump fake, and lays it in. Count it. Jones is going back to the free throw line. Alaric Jones has been huge all tournament long for the Central Rebels. 12 points today. Six of them first half, six of them second half. Mr. Consistent. That stretches the lead to six. And now Central for their biggest lead. Alaric Jones, free throw, got it. Seven-point lead for Central. Two for two from the free throw line is Alaric Jones. 54-47. Farmington trying to come back. We're down to 346 left to play. Into the front court, Dante Castro. A bounce pass into the corner. We got a timeout. Coach Callahan. 54-47. Central on top in their own tournament. Trying to win this baby as a seven seed for the first time since 2001. 343 left. We're back in 30 on G98. 
Hello, this is the doctor of heat of CNC Wood Furnace. Please help me, sir. I'm being robbed by the electric company. I understand, ma'am. I get phone calls like this all the time. I'll install a Heatmaster SS for you today, and you can start saving for tomorrow. And you'll have an endless supply of heat and hot tap water. Oh, thank you, doctor of heat. Hello, this is Clinton with CNC Wood Furnace. Energy isn't going to get any cheaper. Start saving a bunch of money today by calling 573-330-8869. Central Rebels have stretched out their largest lead of the ball game so far. They now lead at 54-47. Plenty of time left for Farmington, though. 337 left to go. Logan England takes it inside. Kicks it out for a deep two. Jordan Ankrum can't get it to fall with his feet on the line. Rebound Central. It's Braden Mannion. Mannion gives it up to Jones. Jones dribbles it into the front court. He's got it straight away. He's weaving. Swings it back out left wing. Into the corner, Skaggs. Skaggs with a pump pick. Then drive, spin, step back jumper, baseline. Skaggs can't get it to fall. Rebound Dante Castro. Skaggs has 21 right now. Ankrum has 25. Logan England attacking. Pulls up and shoots. Left hand finishes it. Nicely done, Logan to England. That'll make it a five-point game at 54-49, and England has five points in the ball game so far. Under three minutes to play, it's DJ Buchanan working on Logan England. DJ Buchanan pulls up on the right wing, passes it inside to Kurtois. Now he gives it up to Skaggs. Skaggs right back out to Buchanan. Buchanan holds the ball high above his head with 2.45 to play. Left wing pass Jones into the corner, Mannion. Mannion fakes right, drives it baseline. He'll try the reverse. Got it. Beautiful. Braden Mannion has four all in the fourth quarter. 56-49. Right back to a seven-point game. England at the right wing. England starts his drive off the window and off balance. Logan England, he's got four in the fourth quarter. Five-point game again, 56-51. 221 and counting left to go. Here comes Central. Back near the timeline, DJ Buchanan. He'll be guarded and guarded tightly by Logan England. Swings it left wing for Jones. Jones has Hardy on him. Gets it inside for Skaggs. Skaggs will take it baseline. Jump, stop, missed his runner. No good. Hunter Kurtois offensive board. Gives it back out to Mannion. Mannion goes up and shoots. Gets blocked but fouled. They'll call Garrett Callahan. Callahan frustrated. Thought he had it clean. Nelson Mannion to the line. He'll shoot two here. And then Callahan picks up his third. Team foul number 10 on Farmington. Braden Mannion's 0 for 1 from the free throw line today. He's got four points, all of those coming in the fourth quarter. Braden Mannion, free throw, got it. 57-51, six-point game. Central's played well in the fourth quarter. The next one for Braden Mannion as he gets the ball from Don Thompson. Braden lines it up, puts it up, and got it, rattled it in. He's now 2 of 3 from the line. 7-point game, 58-51. Central will apply pressure. Farmington racing the ball at the floor with Garrett Callahan. Swings it left wing, Ankrum. Ankrum spots up for the three ball. In and out, no good. And Farmington really didn't need that, but Ankrum took the first shot he saw. Oh, here's a pickpocket, Dante Castro, and he'll lay it in easily on the other end. Central's 15th turnover. Dante Castro, four points of the game. Those were two big ones. It's a five-point game, 58-53. 1.48 left to play. Timeout on the floor, and this fourth quarter, Quarter. Central so far has outplayed Farmington. That was a big play, though, Chad, by Dante Castro to try to swing some momentum back to the Knights. Well, I think that was important, too, because it came off of a defensive stop, and to me, that's what Farmington needs is, is some defensive stops. So Larry Jones has done a nice job penetrating. Braden Mannion, I think, has come off and played a, a really nice game. Leads him in rebounds right now for Central with five, and it seems like uh, Drew Skaggs' supporting cast has done a better job here late in the third and into the fourth quarter when Drew did most of that scoring load in the first half. Five-point ball game. One minute, 48 seconds left to go. One of these two teams is going to be sore after this one. The other one elated. It's been a great ball game at 58-53. Plenty of time left both ways. Central breaks the timeout. They've got Skaggs, Jones, Buchanan, Curtois, and Mannion on the floor. Farmington with Hardy, England, Castro, Ankrum, and Callahan. Central's inbounder will be Drew Skaggs, leading by five, 58-53. Farmington looking to prevent another bucket on this trip down. Inbound comes into Buchanan. Buchanan brings it up the near side, fires it back across over to Skaggs. Skaggs breaks through into the front court, swings it to the corner for Mannion. Oh, Castro almost came up with a steal, but they'll call the foul. Double bonus. Central goes to the line to shoot two. Castro picks up his fourth. He had two very early. We're talking first two minutes of the ball game. And the middle part of the game had to sit quite a bit. 
He's playing late, but now he just picked up his fourth. So Braden Mannion, he's hit his last two free throws. How about this one? No, off back rim. Still got one more look at it. Two of four from the free throw line tonight. The Central Christmas Tournament Championship on the line between Park Hill Central and Farmington. Two MAAA teams, two St. Francis County teams. Mannion missed them both. Ankrum with the rebound. Farmington down by just five. 93 seconds left to go. England has it at right wing. Drives in, kicks it underneath the Castro. Wide open, spins and puts it off the glass and in. Dante Castro has six. 58-55. And then Central dribbles it off their foot and out of bounds. Alaric Jones being pressured as he got the inbound baseline. And he kicked it. And Farmington takes over down by just one possession. 58-55, 121 left to play. We have got a timeout. Coach Harlow for Central. What a ball game. Farmington will have the basketball when we come back in 30 on J98. Missouri Behavioral Health is an integrated co-occurring mental health and substance abuse service provider with offices throughout the region. Southeast Missouri Behavioral Health can help if you're worried that someone you love might have a mental or substance abuse problem and you don't know what to do. Southeast Missouri Behavioral Health is accredited by the Commission on the Accreditation for Rehabilitation Facilities. Visit www.cmobh.org for free confidential online screenings or call 1-800-455-5749. That's 1-800-455-5749. One minute, 21 seconds left to go. Fourth quarter of the Central Christmas Tournament Championship for the boys. It's Farmington 55, Central 58. The Rebels clinging to a three-point lead, but they just gave up the basketball right before the break right there. And Farmington with a chance to tie or get to within one on this possession. The inbound will come into the front court. Left wing pass comes to Logan England. Thought about that three. Instead, swings to the corner for Hardy. Hardy's going to drive, throw up a runner. Blocked! I think it was Jones who got a hand on it. Here comes Central. A two-on-one back the other way. DJ Buchanan lay it! in the foul and the place goes crazy. DJ Buchanan off the bench has been a lightning rod for the Central Rebels. That'll make it 60 to 55. 109 left to go in the fourth quarter and here's DJ Buchanan a chance to make it a six point game. Buchanan from the free throw line puts it up got it. D.J. Buchanan's first free throw. He's got seven points, but it seems like every one of them has gotten a rise out of this crowd. 61-55, Farmington trails by six. Right wing is Logan England. Throws it up top for D.J. Hardy. He'll dribble it in from the left wing. Stops his progress, brings it back out. Up top, it's England. England now, straight away, crossing over. Step back, then swings it left wing, Castro. Castro fakes left, swings to Callahan. High arcing three ball, no good, but they'll call a foul. Braden Mannion coming out and knocking Callahan to the floor on this one. One. And very, very close to a four-point opportunity, Glenn, because that three from Callahan rattled in and out. So Callahan goes to the free throw line. Garrett Callahan, 75% on the year. He hits his first one. That'll make it 61 to 56. Callahan's three for three today. He's got five points in the ball game. The next for Callahan. Got that one. Four in a row for Garrett Callahan. Six points in the game. Four-point game, 61-57. This one to make it a one possession game. 47 on the clock, Callahan got all three of them. That was a big foul from Braden Mannion. Now Central leads by three. And here's a full court pass from Skaggs, knocked away. Not a good pass from Drew. Central turns it over. Farmington in the front court with a chance to tie. 35 seconds left to go. At the left wing, it's England. Kicks to the corner for Hardy. You better get a hand in his face. He's a sharpshooter. He's going to drive it baseline, swing it back out to Dante Castro. Loses it, but gets it back. 22 seconds on the clock. Castro lobs it down low for Ingram, knocked away by Hunter Kurtoids. DJ Buchanan comes up with it, and they have to foul. DJ Buchanan will be the one who gets fouled. A big defensive play by Hunter Kurtois to get a hand on that one. Farmington's 16th turnover with 16.1 on the clock. What a big defensive stop for the Central Rebels right there. A chance to make this a two-possession game. DJ Buchanan steps to the line. One for two tonight from the free throw line. Puts this one up. Got it. A clutch free throw from a freshman to make it a two-possession game, 62-58. Coach Callahan calls the full timeout for Farmington. We'll have another free throw coming on the other side of this 30-second break on J98. 
The entire faculty and staff of the South Iron School District would like to take this time to wish the South Iron Panthers the best of luck this season. The Panthers have proven that they have what it takes to be winners both on and off the court, and everyone at the South Iron School District is very proud of each of you. Again, good luck this basketball season to the South Iron Panthers from the entire faculty and staff at the South Iron School District. Points separates these two teams, Farmington Knights and Sensor Rebels. They've both left it all on the floor tonight. What a ball game, 16.1 on the clock, and we'll get a DJ Buchanan free throw coming as the teams break the huddles. What have you thought about this one? Uh, just, you know, this difference between just a few possessions here in this fourth quarter. And that Central's played so tough, and I don't think Ankrum maybe has had as many touches in the fourth as he's had the rest of the game. So it's DJ Buchanan at the free throw line. He's made his last two after missing his first, so he's two for three today. It's already a four-point game. He's got a chance to make it five. 62-58 Central, 16.1 on the clock in the TJ Fulon Fieldhouse. The Farmington crowd gets loud as Buchanan puts this one up. He gets it to go. Three free throws in a row for DJ Buchanan. Farmington's got to be quick here, but you don't necessarily need the three. You just need a bucket. Here's Logan England driving, spinning, putting it off the window. No good. Rebound, Hunter Kurtoys. Park Hill Center looking like they're going to hold on. They'll foul Drew Skaggs at the sideline with 6.2 on the clock. And the Central Rebels, presumably for the first time since 2001, going to win their own tournament as a seven seed this year. Park Hill Central with their seventh straight win. And it's going to come over the Farmington Knights in this one. What a great game. The free throw is no good from Drew Skaggs. So he missed his first right there. Drew Skaggs, his first miss of the day. He's now one of two. You know, in this fourth quarter, too, it's been everybody else but Drew Skaggs that's really contributed, especially DJ Buchanan. The next one from Drew. Got it. Two of three on the night, 64-58. Farmington needs a three ball quickly here. Four seconds, down to three, into the front court. DJ Hardy a deep three and can't get it to go. That's it, 64-58, final score. This place goes absolutely nuts. The student section charges the floor. The Central Rebels win their own tournament as a seventh seed for the first time since 2001, and they did it over the Farmington Knights, which probably makes it that much sweeter. Congratulations, Central Rebels.